Hi, it's me. Um, I am going to start a new game, a new playlist. So this is My Child Lebensborn, I believe. That's what it's called. Um, as far as I could see, it is about a kid during World War II who's German or something, and we're just trying to take care of him. I read the whole thing, but I have a bad memory. So, I haven't opened the app yet at all, so I wanted to take y'all through whatever happened, so let's try it. <laughs> I think it's going to be this way. Okay, got game based on true stories. Choose language. Definitely English. This game contains sensitive material such as bullying and references to assault that will be distressing to some players. So if that's you, turn this off now. Check out my other playlists like Harry Potter or Crazy Diner or Puzzle Survival, University Empire Tycoon other four other playlists. Let's get in. New game. 1940 World War II rages across Europe. Norway is occupied by Germany. 1945. World War II ends and Norway is liberated. The nation celebrates. 1945. After five years of occupation, the signs of the Nazi occupation can be scrubbed away. 1948. Three years later, you adopt a child. We adopt a child. We're in this together. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of Klaus. He cannot stay here. Adopt Klaus. Thank you for taking care of Karen. She cannot stay here. Adopt Karen. We're gonna go with the boy. 1951, birthday parties, present under the tree, moving in. I'm nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, I can't breathe. Oh God. I'm home. Oh, yes you are, little Klaus. Hey, did you have fun with Liv? Hi, Klaus. Was Liv nice to you? It's getting late. Let's get you ready for bed. Hmm. Hey, did you have fun with Liv? Yep, we had so much fun. Liv is my best friend. Aww. We found this cool kind of creepy looking tree stump in the forest. It looked like there could be a treasure there. Real treasure! But then it started to rain. But we guarded our treasure anyway. Listen patiently. How very brave of you, but it's getting late. Just because of the circumstances, I feel like we should be let him finish his story. If it was our kid now, I'd be like, you need to go to sleep. Tell me tomorrow. <laughs> Listen patiently. And then, and then, <laughs> and then we found out the tree stump was empty. But maybe the trolls might put some treasure there later. So we're going to go back and check later. My goodness, that's amazing. That's nice. Sounds like you and Liv had fun. Running around in the rain isn't a good idea. I mean, that is true. You might get sick. I don't want to crush his imagination. My goodness, that's amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Huh? Oh, it's kind of late. The sun's almost gone away already. Time units. Progress through the day by spending your available time units. 
Certain actions cost time to perform. Time units are indicated in the top left. Oh, look, it's the sun setting, so it's like evening. Uh, pressing the time unit icon will progress time with one unit. But, but you have to see this. Look, Liv gave me a present for my birthday tomorrow. Can I open it now? I'll be so quick. What? No, wait until your birthday. Hmm, I think Liv would want you to wait. Oh, why not? Of course he can. No, I think Liv would want you to wait. I guess you're right. Oh, I wonder what it is. Now we have some mail. You have received mail. Press the envelope to open it. This doesn't cost any time. Look, Klaus. Neighborhood Council. The cat has been seen eating flowers from the flower beds. We demand that the cat's owner keeps it inside from now on. Okay. Not my cat. Okay. I don't know what that was. A newspaper? What's that? Oh. Just grown-up stuff. Blah. You're... You're not going to the study, are you? It's so boring when you go there. And you promised me a bath. Bathing. The tub is in the bathroom. It will clean Klaus and his clothes, but cost a time unit. Uh, this. Oh, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. The window. You're right, Klaus. Let's take a bath. Scrubby scrub. Blub blub blub. Bubbles! So, is it time for dinner soon? Eating. Find food in the kitchen. Klaus can eat as much as he feels like for one time unit. We only have two units? Do I, like, keep bathing him? Yeah. See it's full and it's making that dingy noise, I guess that means he's clean. So, let's go get you some food, Klaus. Get out of the bath. Get your clothes back on. There you go. You can sit right here. Um... Okay, so... Porridge? Or cheese on bread. There you go. Yummies. Mm -mm. Can I have some more, please? Nom nom nom. He did say om nom. <laughs> That's my kid. Ugh, it's really late now. Even the sun's gone to bed. So sleepy. Must be bedtime. Sleeping. It's late and time for Klaus to go to bed. Reading a bedtime story or patting Klaus will increase his comfort. Okay. Come on, little fella. Let's go to bed. Time for night-night. Oh, I want to fall asleep right now. Then tomorrow we'll be here more quickly. I'll be all grown up. I'm so excited. Liv got three whole presents for her birthday. How many will I get? You'll get some nice presents too, don't you worry. Three presents? Hmm, sounds like Liv likes to tell stories. Tales. We should be grateful for what we have, Klaus. You'll get some nice presents, too. Don't you worry. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. How about you just focus on having fun, yeah? We're going to have a lot of fun, I promise. Anyway, time to sleep now, Klaus. 
We're going to have a lot of fun, I promise. Okay. Good night. The study. The mail, documents, and pictures that you collect can be found in the study. Reading, letters and newspapers will gather over time. Reading many in one sitting will only cost one unit of time. I don't get it. In the news, National egg production is in decline. There aren't enough eggs for the export market for what is now the second week in a row. Debate continues on whether Norwegian officials should stop exporting this essential item. The income is greatly needed, but so too is the product itself. Jeez, is that it? There's not another one? Oh, look at him. Why am I going to cry? <laughs> I'm really emotional, so I might end up crying during this game. I don't know. But that's all we have so far. waiting for the time to go like the way here. Oh, ending the day. When you're ready to end the day, go to Klaus's bedroom and tap the lamp to turn off the light. August 18th, Saturday. Good morning. Wake up Klaus by washing his face. Go to the bathroom sink. This is fast and does not cost time units. Come on, little Klaus. Here, why don't you wash your face like a good boy? It's my birthday! It's my birthday! I barely slept all night! Oh, here's a hot mess. Sorry. <laughs> I'm seven years old now! Seven! Do I look different? Whoa, Klaus, is that you? I almost didn't recognize you. Hmm, maybe a little. Don't be silly. You don't change like that overnight. No. Whoa, Klaus, is that you? I almost didn't recognize you. Wowee, I'm all grown up. This is my dog, by the way. Her name is Ladybird, for anyone wondering. No, I don't know what she is. She's a mixed breed, kind of like me, so... They're the best ones. Liv was supposed to send me a birthday letter. Can we go see? Alright. Let's go. Happy birthday. Sorry I can't be there. Can't wait for school to start so we can hang out every day. You're the best. Liv. P.S. I touched a troll yesterday. <laughs> it's a letter from Liv. <gasps> she really saw a troll. I wish I could play with Liv today. And every day. But she's visiting her aunt in Schottenheimen. Liv's 
present. I nearly forgot. I can open it now, right? Wow, we! It's a ball! My very own ball! Can we play with it now? Playing. Tap to throw the ball to Klaus. Playing with Klaus costs a time unit. For the birthday boy, of course. Maybe a little later. Not now, Klaus. I'm seeing three very different parenting styles so far. <laughs> I feel like I'm most definitely the first one. I'm just like, yeah, I guess. Why not? What else are we doing? For the birthday boy, of course. Yay! <laughs> and just like that, we only have one unit left. Did you see that? I wonder if I was shaking the camera. I saw this thing. Oh, I guess on this side, it was like warbling. My house is haunted though, so I don't know. So what should we do now? Spare moment. Decide how to spend your day. You only have seven time units per day divided over four time periods. Manage the household and care for the child. You have seven time units in one day divided over four periods. How does that work? In one you just have one? We'll figure it out. <laughs> Oh, you're so handsome. Look at you. Uh, well, are you hungry? Go eat something, I guess. How about some toast? You know, about my birthday, well, Liv said her mom made a cake for her. Do you think, could, could I have one? I really like cake. Are you sure you don't want cabbage instead, like a grown-up? Of course! I'll get you a fresh cake right away! Maybe we can bake one together, if you're a good boy. <laughs> I hope that first one's a joke. I kind of want to click on it, but... What if I get stuck somewhere and I can't give him a cake? I'm gonna feel bad. Maybe we can bake one together, if you're a good boy. I'll be good, I promise. Shopping. Tap on the window to get outside. There you can find the store and other areas. Oh. You just leave out the window? <laughs> uh. Woo, that's expensive. Thank you. Ah. I, I'm sorry. I was playing with the puddles and I got messy. My shirt is all wet and icky. You're lucky it's your birthday. <laughs> Changing clothes. Find Klaus a dry sweater in the bedroom closet. Changing clothes costs a unit of time. Because kids are so dang slow at freaking getting ready. I hate that. Okay. Um, I guess this one? Here you go. Ah, this feels so much better. Be more careful next time. You needn't have worried so much. Clothes get mucky sometimes. Okay. I don't want to waste time. <laughs> but I feel like he needs extra love and care. So TLC. You shouldn't... You needn't have worried so much. Clothes get mucky sometimes. It's okay. Phew. That's good to know. He rubs cake on himself. <laughs> So, is it nearly time to bake the cake? 
ingredients to make food for Klaus go to the kitchen counter. Okay, he's already hungry again? Morning. I'm so excited. I never helped to bake a cake before. Cooking. Cooking is easy. Just tap the ingredients. Each item that you cook costs a unit of time. That's easy. That was really fun. Yay, time for my birthday party. Yes, sir, it is. Let's go, little guy. Why don't you eat your cake? Here you go. That was really good. Thank you. I like cake. Your cake is the best I ever had. <gasps> you got me a present? Oh, I wonder what it is. Yes, drawing pencils. You remembered what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome, Klaus. And guess what? You can use them when you start school next week. Just remember, they were expensive. Be careful with them. I mean, he's got to learn to take care of stuff, so... And guess what? You can use them when you start school next week. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. I can't wait. Thank you so much for my present. I love it. Oh, I know. A new entry has been added to the photo album. <coughs> Let's try them now. <coughs> I choked on my spit. You can help color in my drawing. We can go to my room and draw. Let's go. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. I'm just like dragging my hand, my finger across it. And it's like coloring it in. Cute. That was fun. I love my new pencils. Um, can I stay up a little longer, please? I just don't want my birthday to end. I don't know. I think someone needs their bed. You could stay up, but if you sleep, you might grow even more. No, it's time for bed now, Klaus. Uh, you could stay up, but if you sleep, you might grow even more. Oh yeah, you're right. Bedtime for me then. Look at him, he's all sleepy. I just sent him to bed like half hungry? Today was really fun. Good night, Klaus. Did you have a nice birthday? I really did. Thank you. We had so much fun. I just wish Liv could have been here, though. Do you think I'll get any more presents? We'll just have to wait and see. You should be happy with what you've already got, Klaus. Mm, probably not, little one. I don't want to lie. I mean, you never know. <laughs> um, I'm a Libra. One of our most known traits is being indecisive when it comes to having multiple choices. So, Uh, maybe we should be a little bit stern, because he keeps asking. You should be happy with what you've already got, Klaus. I am happy with what I've got. Really. Well, good. Good night. 
Could you read me a bedtime story? No, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. It's too late for a story now, Klaus. Sure, anything for you. Yes. Sure, anything for you. Yay! Story time. To read a story, tap the book until Klaus falls asleep. Reading costs one time unit. There you go, little guy. Time for Mimi's. That's what I say to Lady whenever it's time to go to bed. I'm like, time for Mimi's. She comes into the bedroom and goes to her bed. <laughs> Totes cute. Oh, let's go to our study real fast. I think there's a new picture. Ah, I was gonna show you my phone. <laughs> oh, look at him. We didn't get any letters? No mail? Oh, hm. uh, look at his pictures! Yeah! Alright, good night. It is now Sunday! <gasps> good morning! <gasps> School starts on Tuesday! It sure does. Are you excited? That's right. Do you feel ready? Correct. You'll do great. It sure does. Are you excited? Just one more day. Oh, I can barely wait. That's it? You need to freaking take a bath. Look at you, disgusting. Okay, all nice and clean. Um, let's get you some food. Say ah. Maybe, um, could we have some different food soon? We eat this a lot. I miss having warm dinners. So do I. I'll get a job soon, and then maybe I'll get better food buy better food. I'll need a job. I'm trying to find one. I know. I'll get a great job and we can buy loads of food. You'll see. That's called the power of manifestation. That's what we're trying to instill in this little boy. I know. I'll get a great job and we can buy loads of food. You'll see. Really? Wow, we Finding work. There are jobs to apply for. Go to the study and look through the newspaper. Look at him. He's still freaking starving. He really just ate us out of house and home. We only have 140 coins. Anyway, time to go look for some work. You just go play. Oh, it cost a time unit. Since it's Sunday today, how about we can go explore the forest? You don't have to always buy things. We can find food too. Which is good, since the store is always closed on Sundays. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Gotta remember that so I don't fuck around and make us not have food. <laughs> The outdoors. New area unlocked. Outside. Forest and lake. Cute. Yeah, let's go then. Oh. Oh, look! So many things to pick. So many blueberries! Oh, berries. You can't hide from us, little berries. <laughs> All 
right, Klaus. I guess that's all we can do here. Well, cool. you can like interact with him a little bit. Well, I don't know. Let's go home. I need to go to the study. Let's see. I need to find a job. I took you out there, and now mom's got to get a fucking job. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we need more workers at the old factory. Steady job from Monday to Saturday. I only get one day off? I don't have a choice, it just says apply. Tap to write? I read your ad for a factory work and hereby wish to apply. I am a hard worker who would be very grateful for a steady job. Please consider me for your position. Ah, all for you, Klaus. I want my bed. All right, calm down. Go to bed. So, I was drawing today, and I had an idea. I can help us earn money. We can sell my drawing. That's a great idea. We'll work hard, both of us together. You shouldn't think about such things. That's my job as a grown-up. That's sweet. All I need you to do is to keep being nice. Mm, that's sweet. All I need you to do is to keep being nice. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. I can help. Can you read me that story I like? No, maybe tomorrow. It's too late, Klaus. Of course. Of course. Nice. Thank you. And yes, you are a little kid still, so just stop trying to grow up so fast. You went to bed hungry again. <laughs> Had to go to the bathroom to cry because I can't provide for my kid. <laughs> Okay, anyways, moving on. I wonder if this has an ending. I hope today will be nice. Liv is back today. She said I could go and play with her at noon. Oh, we got a letter, Klaus. Your job application. We are happy to offer you a job at our factory. Please start at your earliest convenience from August 21st. Klaus! Oh my god! And we got a new newspaper. What does it say? Good news! I just got a job at the factory. I got a job, which is good, but I'm going to start being away during the day. I'm going to start a new job I'll be able to provide for us. Good news, I just got a job at the factory. That's great. When do I get to have a job? Not just yet. You can get a job when you're a bit older. Jobs are for grown-ups. You focus on having fun, okay? Just focus on doing well in school. Then you can get a job after. Mm. <laughs> It's not even that hard, but I'm like, I'm trying to think about how he's going to reply. So I'm like, what should I put? <laughs> um, I like the first and the third one. I'm just going to go with, not just yet. You can get a job when you're a bit older. But I am older. <sighs> That's not fair. I keep making him mad. You hear this? That crazy ass sound. About to be killer kids up in here. <laughs> Anyways, you need to eat. And this is all I have for you. I 
and I'm out of food. disaster. best friend. I'm going to go play with her now. Bye! You just left. You've, you've received new crafting materials. Crafting? You can craft and mend items in your spare time. Visit the kitchen table. That'd be nice if they fed him over there. Probably won't. care of these kids. Can't let you be on nasty. Damn it. And he's hungry. There you go. Well, he doesn't want anything else to eat. I think he would ask. It's getting late. You're right. Let's go to bed. Time for night night. When I wake up, I will be a schoolboy. I I wonder what it'll be like at school. You seem a little nervous. Are you looking forward to it? It's going to be so much fun. Just remember to be nice. Stop worrying. You'll do great. Stop worrying. You'll do great. Okay. You're probably right. I'll work hard, I promise. Could you read me a bedtime story? Of course. Wow, thank you. Maybe it'll help with the first aid jitters. This is a crazy game. I had to buy this game, actually. For anyone that's thinking about playing it, um, I think that's why it is the way it is, where you have time units, so you don't necessarily run out of diamonds, coins, energy, like other games, and then you have to wait 300 hours for that to regenerate. This is more of a, you have to make good decisions for this boy because you only are allo allotted so many hours in a day. There's only so much you can do. So what are you going to do with the time that you have? I paid like 
three dollars and some change probably $2.99 um, again I don't know if it has an ending what the storyline is going to progress into but just wanted to tell you all that part um, I like it so far I mean I've never played a game like this it's pretty interesting and tomorrow we start work and go to school ah, okay let's go I'm so nervous! Ah! Start my, my new job! Today is the day. I'm starting school like a big boy. Don't you be nasty. You're on camera. I'm gonna lick her butt. I got y'all. Don't worry. I'm starting school like a big boy. So how about we get you ready for your big day? Are you excited? That's right, you're going up so fast. That's right, you're growing up so fast. Not fast enough, I wanna be really big. But I am pretty big now. Oh, and it's your first day at your new job too. Maybe soon, we can afford a nice backpack to carry my school books. I think I saw one in the shop. We'll see, but you have to do well at school. I'll try to get you one, but I have to see if we can afford it first. Now that sounds like a great idea. Now that sounds like a great idea. Nice. I'm going to get a backpack. Eventually. Not right now. I gotta get money first. Can I go to school? He's hungry again. <laughs> this stinks, you guys. What the heck? In the news, skybound conflict above Korea, 17 American F-86 jet planes and almost 60 communist MIG aircraft met in a violent battle above North Korea today. <sighs> the drawing. Okay, um, I'm nervous. Do you think you could walk me to school? I'm sorry, Klaus, I can't be late for work. Don't get nervous, Klaus, you'll do great. I don't think I can, but how about we walk some of the way together? That's right, if I have to go to work. I guess I don't have time to take him to school, so. What if I just said, don't worry, Klaus, You'll do great. Um, but then I might make him feel good if I walked with him a little bit of the way. <laughs> Lady, what do I do? Why do your eyes look so creepy on here? She has brown eyes. If anyone cares. They're just... They look like my eyes. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think I can. But how about we walk some of the way together? Really? Thanks, you're the best! See, I told you. Going to school. To send Klaus to school, go outside and tap on the red building. School lasts until the afternoon. Let's go, little man. Thank you for walking me here. The school is really big, isn't it? Be strong and be confident. Show everyone how smart you are. If anyone gives you trouble, you tell a teacher, yes? <laughs> Nasty. Stop. Sorry. Just be nice and polite. Everyone will think you're great. If anyone gives you trouble, you'll tell a teacher, yes? I mean, just in case. 
stay safe. I wouldn't worry, though. You'll be fine. Hey, there's Liv! Maybe this will be fun. Bye! Oh, bye! Oh, God, here we go. I'm home. How was your first day at school? Did you behave at school today? What's wrong, Klaus? Yeah, look at him. What's wrong, Klaus? School was strange and not nice at all. I was trying to make some friends, but... Well, everybody kept staring at me and didn't talk to me. You haven't done anything wrong. They just don't know you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you try talking to anyone? What? What is wrong with those kids? I don't think encouraging that would be good. Yes, he did try to talk to someone. He said he tried to make friends. You haven't done anything wrong. They just don't know you. So, maybe if they get to know me, they might be nice. So, we can be friends. Exactly. Let's get you washed up a little bit. There you go. Uh. No letters. No food. Could you help me look at my school book? My teacher might ask someone to answer questions tomorrow. Yes, of course. Don't worry about homework. School only just started. I don't really have time to do that today. Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. My, the book is in my room. Ready? Here we go. If Lynn and Pierre each had an apple, and Lynn gave Pierre her apple, how many apples would Pierre have? Pierre would have three. I don't have time for this right now. They each had one, and one gave one, and it'd be two. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Okay, next one. <laughs> if Pierre then ate one of his apples, how many apples would he have left? One apple. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. If Pierre's mom brings four more apples and she tells Pierre and Lynn to share all the apples fairly, then how many apples should Pierre give to Lynn? Wait, I'm sorry. I've... I forgot what the question was. I know that he had one. How many did she bring in? Three or four? Frick. Oh. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to your kid. They should either each have two or two and a half. I remember thinking in my head as he was reading it'd be an odd number. Maybe this one? What? He already had two apples from before. Even if he ate one. So that wouldn't be fair. I hope we did it right. Fuck. I just took a guess because I don't remember what he said. What is this? <gasps> I'm about to fight some people, lady. A new entry has been added to the photo album. <laughs> oh, it's my baby girl. <laughs> my baby girl! <laughs> Precious baby! Look, this is our son. My son. This is your brother. <laughs> she said, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? I am not in the way. You can go around to get down. Over there. Or somewhere else. 
I feel so bad. I freaking suck. Well, do you want to go to the forest? No, we can't go to the forest. Uh, do you want to... I don't know. Draw or something? Here, we'll play ball. Wow, you're so good at this. I'm so tired after today. I could sleep a whole week. Let's go to night night. I'm not sure I like school. Even the teacher, Miss Hansen, seemed kind of mean. They'll work harder than everyone and earn their respect. Growing up means learning from the challenges you face. It'll get better, I'm sure of it. It'll get better, I'm sure of it. You're probably right. School is just about learning anyway. I shouldn't give up so quickly. Um, is it okay if you read me a bedtime story? Of course. Okay, thank you. Once upon a time, there was a little prince. And all the people in his kingdom loved him. The end. <sighs> that was stressful. This is going to be hard. This is already like an hour long video. This is going to go on forever. I'll probably just do it like an in hour increments to save time. <laughs> This is the 22nd. We get the rest of our book soon. I don't have a backpack though. The other kids have backpacks for their books. There are much more important things we need to spend money on. I'm not sure if we can afford a backpack, Cloud. As it happens, I might be getting you a backpack very soon. Get out of there. You don't need that. I'm not even going to show you what her dad bought her. A lot of you would be like, she can't eat that! I know! <laughs> Get that off those clothes! <laughs> Lady, stop it. So sorry. <laughs> ah, those are the laundries I'm putting in the laundry. The clothes I'm putting in the laundry. Don't you- no. Oh god, did you just see that huge bone in her mouth? As parts fall off, I throw it away. But it keeps her occupied. She just kind of licks it. Anyways. As it happens, I might be getting you a backpack very soon. Really? Oh wow! I hope we can afford one. So much mail. I wonder how much it does cost. <laughs> I gotta keep you fed, little man. I need to read the paper, so. <laughs> Let's see. Buy your backpacks at Steam's Land Sport. This week only. We have several colors and models. Handy for hiking. We also have a range of wonderful school bags. Tell 23609. Huh. I'm not sure that I want to go, but I have to go, or Liv will be on her own. Maybe the kids would be nicer if I was like them and had a backpack. The other kids all have one. I 
mean, we are gonna get a backpack, but I have to save up money for it and make sure that I can feed you. Fuck it. Yes. Can I get one? Yes, but for school, not to prove your worth to others. You understand? I'll get you one, but it probably won't make the other kids nicer. Of course, Klaus. Anything to make you happy. Yes, but for school, not to prove your worth to others. You understand? Mm-hmm. I understand. Now let's go. Go to school. Gotta fucking go to work. One sixty five. Somebody called me a bad word today. They said I'm a bastard. Sorry. Because I don't have a real family. Which actually, bastard does mean like a child out of wedlock or something. It's a word for a child, basically, that's irrelevant to some people. But anyways, I know nowadays people are like, ah! <laughs> Our family is far better than theirs. That's unkind of them. Our family is a little different, but different isn't bad. They're wrong on many levels. We are a wonderful family. Yes. They're wrong on many levels. We are a wonderful family. They were wrong? Oh, so I guess they lied. I'm glad you like our family. I do too. But they all have a mom and dad. No one got left behind. Who are my parents? I want to know. You promised me. You said you'd tell me when I was big and look, I'm big now. Get, lady. Alright, hold on. Get out of there. No. look at me like that why why would they call me a a bastard the world just means your parents weren't married which is true I don't know why Klaus you're too long young to learn and worry about these things he hates it when you call him young maybe I should just be honest <sighs> hard raising kids I mean, I've been in a similar situation. Something y'all may not know about me. Um, I have been with the same man for five years. It feels like so much longer. Six, five years. And he does have a daughter, so she's like my bonus kid. I have not popped out any kids myself. You saw my kid, she's over there annoying me. And I've, she's asked me questions about this and that, and I'm honest with her. I tell her what happened, what I've been told, and did she like it? No, but she would learn. She's nine, so she can comprehend. I think that's the best for her. So we're going to do that for Klaus. Why would they call me a bastard? The world just means your parents weren't married, which is true. Now, Klaus now trusts you more than before. <laughs> but that's no reason to pick on you. That doesn't matter. That doesn't change who you are. That doesn't make you any less wonderful to me. But that's no reason to pick on you. They weren't married? Who were they? I wish I knew more about my parents. Please tell me. It's not a good idea. I'll try to find out more, even if it might be unpleasant. We should just focus on the good things we have instead. If he wants to know, he deserves to know. I'll try to find out more, even if it might be unpleasant. Promise. Promise that you'll find out. Klaus. Okay, I promise I'll try. I'll finally know who my parents are. 
contact Klaus' biological mother. Anyways, let's get some food in you. Here you go. Uh, can we maybe do something nice? Hey, are you sad? How about we draw? Let's do something together. We can play hide and seek. I know what will cheer you up. How about we go outside? Yeah, he likes his little tree stump. I know what will cheer you up. How about we go outside? Great. That did not cheer him up. Look, berries. We had a lot of fun, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll be all right, mister. He really kind of just needs a bath. In the morning, I'll have to feed him. I need to look at the papers. So it's either read him a story or take him a bath. He needs a bath. School is different to what I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought. But maybe learning new things will be okay. Learning is why you're there. School is complicated, but you're a smart kid. You'll do great. Don't let the others distract you. You'll do great. Don't let the others distract you. Things will change now that I am all grown up, huh? You're still a kid, but don't have to worry about these things. Yeah, as you grow up, you get to discover the world on your own. Even as you grow, you'll always be my little boy. I don't know why he thinks he's a grown-up now. That's so sad to me. Um. I feel like he's not liking what I've been saying lately. I would normally say, even as you grow, you'll always be my little boy. But what if he's like, I'm not a little boy anymore, but I'm a perfect grown man. I don't want to get yelled at by telling him you're a freaking kid, you're seven. I'm like 50, so. Just kidding, I'm not 50. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to tell him not to worry about those things. You know what? Even as you grow, you'll always be my little boy. Gross! I am big now. You know, I can take care of myself. See, I told you. I'll be here for you to take care of you. I trust you to make your own choices. You'll always be just right to me. I trust you to make your own choices. I'll do lots of exciting exploring. It's a little scary out there. But we can take care of each other, right? Sorry if I made you upset. I don't need another parent. I have you. It would just be nice to know about them. It's getting late, Klaus. Time for sleep. I'll see what I can find out. I'll see what I can find out. Now, bedtime, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you... Would you maybe read me a story? No, maybe tomorrow. Huh? Oh, okay, sorry. Good night, then. Journal. A journal for Klaus has been added to the study. Let's see. 22, 8, 1951, August 22nd. 
51. Dear Klaus, Today I promised that I would find out more about your parents, but I don't know if I will be able to find the answers you hope for. So I'm starting this journal. I'll give it to you when you are old enough to understand. If I can't learn the story of your parent, at least you'll know I tried, and you'll know more about the war and what happened afterwards. This is what I know. Three years ago, I answered an ad in the newspaper saying three-year-old child up for adoption. Reference, war child. I dearly wanted a child, as I hope you know in your heart. Your mother told me that your father was a German soldier and that she was only 16 and unmarried when she had you in 1944. She refused to say more. She had married a man from the resistance and made me promise to keep you away from her new life. Damn. Why would we keep that one? <sighs> I just want to keep playing, but I don't want the video to be super long. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna, um, cut this video. So we made it to August 22nd. We are now going to find out, try to find out about Klaus's biological mother, um, maybe something about his dad, and then try to do better at finding the right words to say to him. Maybe school will get better. Probably will get worse before it gets better. We're going to getting him a damn backpack. So I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other playlist. Like, follow, all the good things. It means so much. Alright. Okay. Bye.